you got to know the local jurisdiction. I can't stress this enough. If you're going to go out and try and be a protest lawyer, try and help people, and I urge you to try it because it is great fun and it's really a great benefit to you feeling good about the work you're doing. But you've got to know the local jurisdiction. You've got to know how the police are going to act, how the prosecutors are going to act, how the jails and judges work in each town and each city you might be giving advice on. You know, is a person going to get an overnight arrest even if they just step into the street for a minute or are they likely to get a summons or just a warning? Is this a town where there's going to be a judge who's not going to be until Monday and it's Friday so someone's going to get arrested, they might be in jail for three days. These are things you need to know. The last thing uh, I learned in, in certain jurisdictions, you can be eligible for immediate release from a precinct with a $500 bail. So that would be great to know ahead of time so you could have people ready with bail to get people out. So oftentimes people ask questions, are we allowed to do this? Are we allowed to do that? And again, this is a very jurisdiction specific question and I think that you've got to really know your jurisdiction to be able to answer this and oftentimes you're not sure if you can or cannot answer but you need to know what penalties people might face for the conduct. So when they're asking are we allowed to, clearly there's certain civil disobedience issues that are going to be raised and you need to understand how that local jurisdiction handles civil disobedience violations and what they do with the individuals who are participating in that civil disobedience action.